You want to show them the beaver sign this time? Right at the camera. Um, Oregon State University, Oregon University, Missouri. Give me your own assessment of yourself. Uh, I just grabbed the ball and sling it. And uh, Coach, Coach Spencer tells me what to throw, and I just see myself as like a little, little machine and uh, throw whatever he asks me to. Um, basketball can get up sometimes uh, when I'm having fun, when I'm pumped up. And that's pretty much what I do, just grab the rock and try to throw as hard as I can. Uh, my favorite pitch is uh, fastball somebody's hands and strike them on them. One more time? Very pitch is a fastball on somebody's hands while I strike them on them. How, how much heat have you gotten in the fastball this year? Uh, actually, I got a couple of balls for my fastball, but I think the ESPN gun was a little juice because it said I was throwing like 96 or something. ESPN gun is juice. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, what's the best part of, uh, of pitching to, to the Mitch Uh, Just he, he likes to have fun even on the field, you know. The uh, best part about Mitch being a catcher is uh, he knows what he's doing and uh, he's a great leader and no one can uh, where he's at as much as, as many times as he has. I mean, going to the World Series twice, he's very experienced and uh, if he sees anything, any little thing wrong with you, he can come up and fix it and that's just a great, great thing to have as a catcher. Great instinct. One more time about Anything that goes wrong, he can fix it. Uh, he's been here before, so if he sees uh, any little tweak or anything going wrong, he, he can fix it. You know his story. Um, you know what you know, happened in his life and the loss of his mother. Being a freshman, um, do you see him as, uh, I mean, all the things that he's been through, you know, do you see him as, I don't want to say like a not an idol, but like a person who lives their life that you would like to, you know, kind of emulate? Actually, I do see Mitch Cannon as an idol. He, uh, I live with him, I room with him, and I've, uh, we've had some great talks up in his room, and uh, just seeing the things he does, not only on the field, but off the field, is it's just a person I want to be when, I, uh, when I'm at his, when I'm a junior or a senior or whatever, uh, something that I look forward to doing. Just following his footsteps, uh, being a great leader as he is. Um, with such a, a great pitching staff, does uh, does each pitcher benefit from each other? Uh, definitely. As far as uh, I know, I benefit from Mike Stoops, uh, just watching him throw the, uh, the ball and uh, seeing the things he does. He's a leader on the mound. Uh, just things like uh, the connection between Joe Patterson and uh, Daniel Turpin, they, uh, they're they one and two, you know, and I, I see themselves benefiting from each other, and I know that I benefit from what Mike does. I try to do some of the same stuff he, he does, so, yeah. Uh, Coach Spence's friend, uh, Greg Warber, he, uh, he comes down and told us that this is something new that uh, was going on, some professional to try and end. He was just trying to show us. It's, I'm a very superstitious guy, and I've done it since the beginning of the year. But it's actually supposed to re-energize you and uh, keep you focused. So I just do it because I'm superstitious and I feel that if it gives me more energy, then I, I might as well try to use it. You know, anything that I heard from a bunch of friends, they're like, what, what were you doing? Uh, are you going crazy on us or what's going on? I just try to explain to them what it was. And I actually got some emails from some uh, psychologists asking me to explain the routine to them so maybe he can try to work with some people or something. And, uh, it's actually kind of weird. Um, it was kind of hard for me to explain because I'm just like a, it's not like I made it up or anything. So um, I definitely got a lot of calls from people. As far as why I do it, I just, I figure whatever whatever can help me throw a great game, I'm going to have to try it. What made you, you know, choose to, uh, to go to Oregon State? 
um, Mitch Canham. Did you say I chose to go? Uh, they actually had a, won the national championship yet. I signed before they did. It's just guys like Mitch. When I came here, you know, they uh, he was just a great person, and I uh, they have that winning attitude, and I love winning. I hate losing, so I figured it would be a great place to go. Port Vallis is a great town. Three games away, or two games away from possibly winning a national championship. Your first. Uh, being a freshman and being here is as crazy as it is, and uh, making it to the national championship is even more crazy. Uh, when I got recruited, coaches told me you're you're going to make it here, and I really didn't think it was going to happen this fast. It's all going so quick.